Hi, I'm with today's important announcement and reminders. First, remember to keep your phones, headphones, and backpacks in your lockers or risk having them taken away. As a reminder, every Wednesday, the Mars store is open in the first period advisory. You will get your ordered items on Friday during eighth period discovery. Non-items are starting to make their way into the store now. Things like a guest spot on the rocket. Just think you could be sitting at this very desk reading off the announcements. Before we head to entertainment, here's a quote of the week. German poet, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe once said, everything is hard before it's easy. Remember that as you struggle with the new subject, now let's head on to entertainment. Hi, I'm George with the entertainment today. First up, the Solar Eclipse watch party is coming up soon. If you want to watch the eclipse safely, join us on October 14th in the soccer field here at school. It begins at 9 a.m. and ends at 11 a.m. Prime viewing time is at 10.36 a.m. If you want to up your nail game, see Ms. Inkley for more information. They meet on Mondays. Remember that D&D Club meets every Tuesday and Wednesday. See Mrs. Duffy for, in the 400 building for more information. Show off your acting skills with Drama Club on Tuesdays and Thursdays with Ms. Olski. If you think you belong in Diversity Club, they meet on Tuesdays. If you're interested in gaming, they meet on Tuesdays and Fridays, and of course, Anime Club will be with K. Stewart in room 160 on Thursdays. And of course, CCLIM meets with Colorado College students on Wednesdays until 6 p.m. That's all for today. Passing it on to sports. Hi, I'm Aubrey with High Sports. Let's see what's coming up. Girls basketball is our last sport into January. It starts on October 17th. Now, it's time to talk about tying intramurals. Intramurals is an athletic campaign that starts before school. Tuesday is basketball and soccer, and Thursday is soccer and basketball. Nothing on Wednesday due to a faculty meeting, but we're back with battle ball on Friday. There are no intramurals on Mondays. Moving on to girls track meet. Last week, this is a lot of information, so keep up. For second place in the 8th grade 100 meter dash, second place in the girls high jump, and first place in the girls long jump is Halaya Lenze. Also for second place in the 7th grade girls high jump is Cadence Fagan. She also got a second in the girls long jump. Abigail Calderon holding third place in the seventh grade girls long jump and first and second place in the shot put is Talea Nicole Garlitz. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. And finally, for second place in sixth grade, a 100 meter dash, second place in the 800 meter run, and third place in the sixth grade shot put is Malaya Munoz. And Delilah Vasquez with third place in the sixth grade 200 meter dash in the high jump. Amazing girls and good luck this week to both A and B squad for our combined football team. Showed considerable improvement this year over last. Awesome season guys. And in golf, Austin Stuyvesant Miller shot at 32 at last week's match. Austin, please let us know what that means. We're assuming it's good because you rock. Now, on to the wrestling match. Their first match is Thursday, October 5th. Our wrestlers will be taking on multiple schools at Saban at 5 p.m. Good luck, guys. And that's it for sports. We'll catch you up next week with more sports. There's a lot of trash everywhere. We see it when we're walking and we see it around our schools and ocean. Some people don't have people to pick up our trash, so they have no choice but to put their trash in the ocean. This graph shows the trash that was left on the courtyard, track, and 400 building. The track mainly had bottles, drinks like water, bo like water bottles, Gatorade and Powerade. The track had 219 pieces of trash in total. The courtyard had a total of 344 pieces. The 400 building had 615 pieces. This graph shows all the trash from all the buildings. 
all of the trash around the school and how much we estimated. In the courtyard, we estimated 219. And for the track, we estimated 344. And in the 400 building, we estimated 615. We could solve this problem by building more trash, trash and trash cans, bring reusable water bottles for track for for you don't need to throw them away or the field. Do not throw candy wrappers on the courtyard that you get from your teachers. Finally, to make the school cleaner, just throw your trash away or tra or keep it until you see a trash can. Bye! <laughs>